what is going on everybody i hope everyone is doing well welcome back to this episode all right so we are going to be doing some fun stuff as you can see this is almost finished but we're going to show you on how we did this today's episode is about landscaping or carving out landscape for your layout whether it's for trains models dioramas or for any other method if you just want to fool around and see what kind of landscapes you can design uh, this is uh, going to be a DIY how-to and honestly cost-effective because this right here worked out so well and a much much cheaper option than standard way so this is an awesome alternative option for landscaping all right, in this video, you're gonna see me use some uh, some of these tools. This one right here, or where's the other one? This one right here. This is actually by a company called Hot Wire Foam Factory. Now, this is not a sponsor. The, the kit that I have, uh, I purchased it with my own money. Honestly, worth it. I'm not sure what it's going for right now. I bought it about five years ago. It's something that I purchased that honestly increased the level of, of artisticness <laughs> by tenfold but because I have this doesn't mean that you can't do it any other way uh, you can definitely use an exacto knife you can use a hobby knife you can even use a kitchen knife if you want just those methods seem to be a lot messier in the sense of there's gonna be a whole bunch of little pieces of styrofoam all over the place but needless to say it can still be done using almost any type of knife that if you want all right, so first things to do is we're gonna be getting uh, an idea of what we wanna do with the our landscape is basically what it is. Uh, what I wanted was I wanted a river and eventually I wanna put a waterfall uh, scene that's gonna be happening. And then from there I figured, you know, one side will be really cool with a peak and the other side a semi-peak. So this is what we did over here. So let's go ahead, jump into the video and just watch on how I did it. It's, uh, trust me, the hot wire foam cutter, it, it's it's magical So dealing with all this mess and also more or less finish the mountain. 
there is the tunnel. Now what I'm gonna end up doing is on this face over here, I'm gonna use the same moldings that I used to create these rocks over here. And that will be glued up against the side so it doesn't look so squarish. But uh, for the most part, I'm really liking on how it turned out. So the styrofoam cutter helped out, made very little mess compared to if it was a knife. And then gluing with the hot glue gun made the process go a lot quicker. Just in case if anyone's wondering, what if a train derails inside there? So the way that I made this so far is that it's going to be removable. Now my idea is I want to use probably chopsticks and I'm going to glue them up in here and then here I'll put a hole so that way the, the chopsticks will lock it into place and not allow the upper part to move around. So river is going to come down here down to a waterfall drop into the lagoon over here into the water. Uh, again, still have to make that bridge that's over here, but for the most part, I'm really happy on how it turned out. Uh, I think what I may end up doing in this section here, instead of putting those die cast stones, I may cut out some more styrofoam to sort of mimic what happened here. This, because this looks, that looks a little bit better. This is a bit of a process <laughs> and took a bit, bit of time just to carve out what I wanted and everything so the idea now next is to plaster everything now i'm going to try a method that i saw several years ago but only like about seven years ago i can't remember who i saw it from and uh basically this is what they said they collected dryer sheets after it was used then they took plaster watered it down a bit ran the dryer sheet through the plaster and then just basically did that all right, so this is uh, extremely watered down plaster. And we're just gonna do a test piece to see how it goes. All right, so we got the dryer sheet. We're just gonna soak it in here. I think this might end up working out really well. Maybe we can go a little bit thinner, but Okay. It's turning really well. It's actually turning out really good. Look like it's a good consistency of plaster as well. I'm gonna just spread everything out now. Definitely a lot messier than the other method of uh, buying those rolls, but uh, I'm actually liking it. It looks pretty good. So our test piece was successful. So we went ahead and we started doing everything else. And uh, so far it's looking really good. Really happy and really impressed with it. It's an awesome alternative, definitely. All right, so it's the next day and everything is dry and solid, yeah. I am super happy on how this turned out. 
So I ended up putting two layers of the dryer sheets down to give it that extra strength. And some of it I'm going to have to cut like in this area here. Uh, but that was to be expected. Some of it kind of lifted, but that's all right. I'll come in here with either paint or when we're putting the foliage down. It'll cover up the cracks uh, as well as the lines. I know that the sheets are a lot smaller than when we used the, the larger ones on this section of the layout, but that's fine. Like I said, between the painting and the foliage, we can cover up these lines and it will. And after this area here is going to be for the water. I guess what's going to end up being next is this is pretty much done. So we're going to start working on this one. Yeah, this month's been a little slow between carving out the styrofoam and uh, getting this done. This, honestly, it takes a lot longer to dry than, uh, than this stuff here. I'm fine with that. It's just going to, like I said, it's going to take a little bit more time. And also with my computer, that set me back uh, a lot too as well. Um, but yeah computer's working I can start editing and doing my stuff now so I can get back on track all right all right so that's gonna be it for this month I hope you enjoyed this video um, so uh, being able to do the landscape this way is actually gonna be more cost-effective um, we're recycling we're reusing the old dryer sheets and all we're really paying for is the plaster which we're watering down to make more of a pancake mix type of uh, mix and just putting it down on here. So that's that's definitely a lot more cost effective. Um, so this will be the update number five. No, six, six. Yeah, so it'll be update number six for Arcadia and for this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is the kind of thing that you like watching, just hobby stuff, modeling stuff, gaming as well, uh, Think about subscribing. Don't forget to hit the hit the thumbs up if you like this video. It does help us out with the algorithm and with YouTube. Just tells everyone that you know you, you everyone's enjoying this uh, this kind of content and they want to push it out. And it would be very much appreciated between myself and also my family, uh, who we're very close. I have my daughters. Uh, they always help me work on this stuff and they like doing the artsy fartsy type of stuff, which uh, it's a lot of fun. Say hi, Comcad. You're on video. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what are you guys up to? Uh, we're just uh, doing an uh, we're doing an ending for Hobby Adventures. Oh, sick! So just give us a second. No. Nope. And that's what you call that you call phone bombing. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I should have put my phone on silent. Anyways, that is it for the video. I hope everyone enjoys it. Like I said, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Also, think about subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time we release a new video. Until then, keep on modeling, and who knows, maybe we'll see you out in the verse.